Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, hit the sub button, leave a like on the video if you enjoy it, and comment down below if you have any questions. Today's video is all about the 3650. A lot of progress made it over the last few weeks. I'm going to be showing it to you in a minute, all the jobs we've gone, got done to it, what we've got done, what we still have to do. So it's going to be a full, uh, a full look at that. Uh, firstly, at last, we got the tyres fitted on the tractor. We had some delays that kind of held us up and doing that for about six weeks there. But we have at last made a lot of progress, got the tyres on, bit of footage of getting them wheeled in. Let's have a look at that now. So, tyres are on. Just a quick mention for the Sealy W1200 trolley, you can see it here just behind me. An absolutely unbelievable bit of kit. I don't know how we got tyres on and off uh, without it. Complete, just complete note of safety with it. And even when we're putting on and off the wheels, did you notice that when we were sliding it on over the, the front hubs, didn't even chip the paint. You know, if you're wrestling the wheels on, uh, you're going to chip the paint and do damage to the paintwork. So absolutely fantastic, uh, love it. So uh, just if you're doing a lot of wheel chains or anything like that, it's something you definitely should be considering. All right, so seeing we've got some tires on there on the tractor, they look fantastic. We'll have a look at those in a minute. We've made a lot of progress, it's not finished, but it's well on. Let's have a look at what we've done. All right, so first look at the tractor. It looks absolutely fantastic. Delighted with how it is turning out. We are not finished. We've still got some things to do. I'll show you what we still have to do. I'll show you what we've done uh, as we go through the video. But uh, the first thing I want to just talk about is the AgriStar 2 tyres. Uh, they are made by Alliance. It got these fitted on the, the rims back. It's about a couple of months ago now at this stage. But uh, I'm super impressed with them. I love how they look on the tractor. Absolutely delighted with them. Uh, they look good on the rims. <laughs> they look better on the tractor now that they're actually on it. Uh, these are the, the 85 series. So they're an 85 profile uh, and they have been sized out uh, to suit the ratio of the tractor itself. So the gearbox or the transfer box ratio. Uh, so uh, not to do any harm to the tractor itself. So yeah, they're working with those tyres uh, in conjunction with KLB tyres who are based here in Ireland, also based in the UK. And yeah, super super tires going to be seeing lots more of those going to see them working first job probably going to get going or get doing with this tractor uh, going to have it on the mow it won't be for about a week and a half say two weeks but uh hope to have the last couple of wee things finished before that and going to be using this tractor then on the mow might even use it on the baler and get the last of the the round bales done we have a bit of round baling still to do uh, and we'll use it at that. Uh, also, might use it at some of the tillage work as well. We'll just see how it all works out. Maybe have it, use it on the ring roller uh, and some other jobs like that. So it's going to get some use now over the next uh, the next month or so uh, until all the, the field work is finished. Um, but yeah, delighted with the tyres. 
uh, if you're interested in these kind of tyres uh, there will be a link in the description below have a look at those uh, McManus tyres is my local dealer but there is dealers in your area go check them out and see what you see what you think about so what have we done paint wise well I told you that we were getting the the tin work all painted on it so roof mud yards and a uh, bonnet has all been painted the step has been painted a couple of little see the little bracket here or little, not bracket a little panel here uh, underneath the door there's another one around the far side they've been painted as well uh, the only painting that's left to be done on the actual tractor itself is going to paint uh, this part here going to give it a new coat of paint just to match in with this here this is nice and shiny and fresh this is dull and a little bit faded some stone chipping here on the sides from stuff just coming off the wheels uh, so we're going to get that redone and i'll probably the weights all original weights uh, I don't think they've ever actually been even off the tractor but what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to just put a wee blast of of paint onto them just to freshen them up I'm not going to take them all off just kind of where they are so uh, I'll just freshen those up uh, but yeah uh, new mudguard skins have went on uh, they are the Franz uh, Sesaman the original ones that would come on John Deere now probably weren't on this one here uh, when it was new but that's why buy all the new John Deere's that's what's on them very good mudguard uh, put those in the 2850 and uh, there's something about the plastic in them they're fairly robust and even you catch them they kind of spring rather than cut which is what you want waiting on the toolbox to come back it's not it, it was painted but it had to get another coat of paint so it wasn't just quite ready, but I'll have that on at some stage this week. Uh, yeah, nice job made on, well, you see now, I have a light here just so I can show you. Uh, there's a nice job made on the lights. Uh, lights themselves, you can see, new Hella lights, uh, same as the original, so they've been all replaced. New number plate Hella light in here as well. Uh, this tractor, it hadn't got one of the plastic brackets here and so we had to get one of those which wasn't the end of the world but I have a light here I'm just going to show you uh, in here now you can see some of the, the detail that we went to in here uh, stainless steel bolts uh, some of them uh, have been replaced with stainless steel don't rust you go to them in five or six years time you have to change a light or do something uh, you'll be able to get them off easily enough uh, also you see the little it, the little brackets that holds the wires we sent those away got them all redone uh, they were zinc plated so yeah really nice job done on that it's all new bolts and really looks as new in there which is what we wanted uh, we did stone chip the inner parts of the mudguards uh, and underneath uh, so this here has been stone chipped and then the, the cab here has all been stone chipped as well so uh, it should stop any should stop any uh, any rusting taking place in there. Uh, I'm not going to show you the hitch yet. We have quite a bit of work done on the hitch, and we just have a little, some modifications to make on the lift arms or lift rods of it. So, uh, yeah, that will be uh, the final video. You'll see that uh, some of the original pins were all sent away, all rezinked. Uh, this here was then we got the silver done on those, and the. The adjustment here for the the leveling arm, uh, the leveling box, uh, we got it all. It's all repainted. I actually, done that myself, and we've zinced uh, a couple of bits of it as well, just to sort that out. Uh, we also tidied up around the arms here. Uh, these here had been caught a few times by the previous owner when hooking on implements. Uh, so yeah, they were just all straightened out, squared off, and uh, we also put a couple of new little uh, ring holes here for holding the. There's a little rope that goes in them for opening them from inside in the tractor. So uh, they have been uh, all done up. Uh, I will probably put a wee coat of paint on those. At some stage, I am going to. I'm going to freshen up the back arms of it. Originally, I wasn't, but maybe over the winter when things get quiet, uh, I'll paint. Just paint the arms here. Uh, you know, just everything you kind of see here at the back. Give it a coat of paint and just freshen it up, and uh, it'll match the rest of the tractor. Um, yeah, the inner you know, weights have all been painted as well, uh, and yeah, it all looks very nice in there. Uh, also, here on around the wheels. You can see there's hooks here on this. I think they're for, I think they're for putting on jewels. Uh, but when we we're getting the everything sent away and getting them zinc plated, we sent them away and got the silver redone on those. Uh, all the the bolts here for 
the, the wheel studs were all sent away and they were all zinced uh, as were the, the bolts here for holding the uh, for holding on the weights, the inner weights so everything it, everything is all as new on that front so yeah it looks, looks very good uh, battery box was sent away and was redone uh, just as painted but uh, we're waiting on there's a little uh, uh, another little plate that goes along here and it has to come back and uh, just get bolted on so yeah uh, good progress made with it overall happy with how it's going um what else did we do to it these here side panels uh did just got a mist of black that was redone and looks very well uh the stickers or the decals so I'm quite hard to please when it comes to a lot of stuff, as is dad, as you can see by uh, the way the tractor is finished off. And I wanted to get the decals that match the original for size, for letter, for the letters and the number size as well. I want everything to match up as it was when it was new. And finding it difficult just to get ones. I did get ones, I mentioned that before. I got I got ones for the 2850 from eBay. I think they come from Croatia or somewhere like that. They looked okay, but if you come up close to them, the, the numbers aren't big enough. The actual sticker itself is a few mil smaller than what it should be. Uh, and the John Deere is a little bit too small and too tight together on them. But uh, yeah, decent CEO I got in John Connolly tractors. Um, paid for I didn't get them for nothing but I just want to tell anybody who wants uh, decals or stickers that are the same as the original uh, where to get them so yeah John Connolly tractors uh, they have them you can buy them online or you call into into the shop where he is there he's based over there at Kells uh, but they are a 100% match uh, and not too deal but told the price of what they are from John Dio and the John Dio ones when you put the sticker on, you have to pick out whichever lettering or sorry, whichever numbers you want and stick the them on top of the sticker. So it's not a great job, the John Deere ones. These ones here, you pick out your uh, uh, whichever model of tractor you have, and everything comes all uh, on the one sticker. So it's all made and designed to just go straight on, um, and easy enough to fit. Uh, a very good quality sticker as well. Uh, and in the pack, you get the full set of decals for here. You get the power synchron stickers. Uh, for either side and there's also uh, four stickers then to do with the the torque uh, tightness that you need for your wheels so there's two small ones for the front and two large ones for the back so it's a full set of stickers which is absolutely fantastic um so yeah that's kind of what we've we've done to it new diesel cap as well put that on there's a new rubber on it as well uh, so got that uh, fitted on yeah, so look, we've we've a lot of work done. Here's the, the little step that I purchased. Not that I don't need it, I'm tall enough, but for smaller people, I suppose, to stand up there if you're filling with diesel or wanted to clear out the, the air intake. Um, air intake itself, I got the, the bowl from John Dio. So it's a Donaldson, kind of come from the USA. Uh, it has all the proper little stickers uh, on it, which comes on them when they were new. Uh, and it's actually not really any dearer than what you buy in a lot of the your 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 tractor supply places. So uh, for the to get the right one, it, it might be five or more expensive. So uh, a no-brainer for me to to purchase it. Um, yeah, look, there's plenty of new bits that we had to get for it. Uh, the likes of these little surrounds here on the mud yards had to be all purchased new. Um, so yeah. The, the ones that was on it was cracked, so we would get new ones for each side. The lights were fairly uh, fairly cheap, they weren't too bad. I think I got those on eBay, uh, yeah, so they're not expensive. Uh, the backlights, I think I got them on Amazon. Uh, these here then, which come from John Leo, they're about 60 quid a piece per side, but they do add a lot to the tractor, so I wanted those on it, same as what I have on the 2850. Um, yeah, so lots of progress, very happy with how it's looking. Running absolutely perfect, delighted with how it's running. Uh, took it up the road for a couple of little spins, and yeah, very, very good. Looking forward to getting using it. Uh, this was a new door handle here. The button on the, the previous one was damaged. Uh, we'd put a new spring in this here as well, because just the spring holds it in the open position. Air seat is all wired up now, connected in and sorted. So yeah, very happy with how that has turned out. Um, 
haven't I've took I've all the interior is dry fitted I haven't anything just stuck fully so you might notice there's a couple of bits missing at the back uh, the reason that they're missing is that we still have the fit the handle for the hitch and we're working on that at the minute so uh, I had all the interior all fitted in but I've took some of the bits back out just so we get that sorted and I can refit it then and uh, if I need to modify anything I can so yeah that's that uh, also the clock here uh, it is out at the moment because uh, there was a little crack in the clock and we have well we're just trying to sort that out we have its own one and we've got one that we've also got as well uh, and a bit of just tricking with that just to get that sorted so uh, we should have that sorted in the next year so uh, air conditioning put the air conditioning going it fill it with gas and it didn't work uh, as it should cool there a little bit but not not very much so we to take all the take all the gas back out of it and get it sucked back out by a machine and we had an idea that might be there's a little dryer. Uh, I'll show it to you, it's here at the back. And the dryer had to be changed. There it is there. Uh, that dryer had to be changed. Uh, it was completely blocked. As soon as we changed it, turn on the air conditioning, bang, away she went, and ice cold there. So we have air conditioning, which is absolutely fantastic. These tractors can get fairly warm. Uh, all tractors can get fairly warm if you have an air conditioning. I know the 2850 in the summertime, it's a, it's a sweat box uh, if you're walking it hard and it's really hot. So it'll be nice to have air conditioning this year and it'll be another reason why to use it a little bit more than even the 2850. Um, but yeah, very much com a lot more comfortable with the with the seat. Also, the tires made a huge difference comfort-wise. Comfort uh, the old tires were pretty hard, wasn't much given them, but these here are just different kettle of fish, so yeah. Delighted with those. Uh, anything else I can say to you? Uh, anything else that we have to do? So some we look around. The mirror here isn't the correct mirror. It's just one we've got temporary on it. Uh, we're going to have to see if we can locate uh, a proper mirror for it. Uh, so, but it'll do for the time being. Uh, and yeah, that is really it. So looking forward to getting the hitch finished on it. Looking forward to. Uh, just getting the last few wee bits and bobs all sorted on it and getting using it uh, because I think it's going to be a very usable tractor and yeah we'll get it go get get it in some work before the season uh, uh, the, the work season is completely finished so yeah that is it so that's it that's an update on the 3650 that's where we are with it we've made a lot of progress over the last couple of weeks delighted to be as far on as we are with it we want to get it finished. We're sick rooting at it. We're sick walking at it. Uh, these are not like doing smaller tractors, like 135s or David Brown 990s or any of those sort of stuff. When you get into these bigger tractors, it's all heavier work. Everything's bigger, everything's heavier, everything's more expensive. So we're glad to be well on with it. But yeah, you can see uh, it has been very much worth it. And we're delighted with, with how it's all gone. So yeah, that's it. Uh, this week, early in the week, we'll be doing some slurry. So I'll do some footage on that. We have one more tank to put out. I'll get some footage of us kind of getting it finished off. And then hopefully around the middle of the week, towards the end of the week, we're going to get into the tillage. We have dung to go out. We have ploughing to do. We have grain to get in the ground. That's all been going on over the next over the next couple of weeks, we'll say. So there'll be lots of footage of that. We'll also be getting some machinery out as well. And we're going to start getting it ready, ploughs ready. Uh, the drill out, get it ready, get it greased up, get everything, make sure everything's working okay on it. So yeah, lots of footage coming up of that uh, in the coming week. So until then, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the sub button, leave a like in the video, comment down below. See you in the next one.